Hello, Uncle. Merry Christmas. Blah, humbug. Christmas? A humbug, Uncle? Surely you don't mean that. What reason do you have to be married? You're poor enough. What reason do you have to be dismal? You're rich enough. What's Christmas time but to find yourself a year older and not an hour richer? If I could work my will, every idiot that goes around with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. <laughs> Uncle, nephew, let me keep Christmas in my own way and I'll let you keep it in yours. But you don't keep it. Let me leave it alone then. Much good it do you. Much good has ever done you. There are many things from which one can derive good but not profit. I find Christmas a good time, a kind, forgiving, charitable time, a time when men and women can forget differences and consider things like all one. And therefore, though it has never put a scrap of gold or silver in my pocket, I believe that Christmas has done us all a great good. And I say, God bless it. Hear, hear. <laughs> Let me hear one more sound out of you, Bob Cratchit, and you'll spend Christmas losing your situation. Come, Uncle, don't be angry. Come and dine with Bessie tomorrow. You ask the same thing every year, and the answer is still the same, no. But why, Uncle, why? Why did you get married against my wishes? Because I fell in love. Because you <laughs> fell in love. To a woman without a proper family, without a penny to her name? You fell in love. Good afternoon to you. Well, I tried. May you have a Merry Christmas, Uncle. Good afternoon. And a Happy New Year. Good afternoon. Oh, and a Merry Christmas to you, too, Merry Christmas to you too, sir. There's another one. Here's my clerk.